So you're Mount Rushmore, courtesy of Jackson, yeah. uh, of Ohio State receivers would be who? Chris Carter yeah. would be up there. That's tough. Michael Jenkins. Yeah. He yeah, I'm like partial. Like, do you go pro career? Or yeah, do you go college yeah, career? Hard, yeah. You know, so. Terry Glenn. Yeah. I think last year, you know, I know he won the Blitnikoff Award. Yep. I was trying to join that list. So I think I put, up, put him up there. I want to Chris Olave. Nice. I put Chris up there. Okay. And he's done it for, you know, three years. He's productive. Um, you know, sophomore to senior year. So I'm going to put Chris Olave up there. Yeah. I would say the one, the Paul Warfield. You know, like the original wide out. Yeah, it's way past. He's, I know, yeah. it's way back there. But that's I feel like there's maybe some room for him. Sorry, who else would we be missing? I mean, there's tons. It is. I think years. David Boston. David Boston. Boston. Yeah, I mean, they, in, then you even go to Garrett. Yeah. And then you even go to, I mean, keep there's on so many different er- I think it's different eras, too. Yeah, I, I agree. Think, you know, since you became the receiver coach, it's like, we have a whole new era of receivers. Yeah. I think we kind of have to have our own separate. I know, does group. that play a part? Yeah. I think it should. Yeah, definitely. Right? I mean, definitely. offensive style, the whole thing. But yeah, yeah I, I, would, I would agree. I, would pre- I think you're, you're, pretty, you're pretty darn there spot on, so that's nice. good. You don't think so, but right. I never planned on being a coach, and I became one. So yeah. if you ever become a coach, what, what are some things you've taken through this process, either from me or in the room, that you'd want to implement? on your side of things as a coach? I think the football aspect aside, I think just having a relationship with your players, I think that's one of the most important things you can have as a coach. Like I know you've had relationships with so many uh, the players recently, and I know myself included, so that's probably one thing I would take away. Knowing how valuable that is to have a relationship with your coach you know, on and off the field, uh, I think that's very important, so that's probably one thing I would take away. Awesome. You know, that's, that's not easy. Yeah, know? yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. I get it. I All right, so you know, I know some people are introverts and some people are quieter. But, yeah, you know, you gotta get outside your box because I, I do agree with you. That's that is critical. You know, right. people really don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Right, right? exactly. And it's a big part. So you gotta spend time with that. So good. You had one memorable moment so far. Is there one that jumps out at you? For me, I think the Rose Bowl. I was, was, say, I was wondering about that because that's kind of like that's my you know, my coming out party. Uh, Worked in my favorite Garrett didn't want to you know play or it's the bowl game. Chris didn't play in the bowl game, so uh, you know, me, Jude, and Mecca got an opportunity to go out there and play. Uh, had the game that I had, which you know, I wasn't expecting it at all. I got there, scored three touchdowns. So in the first start, I mean that's one of them, that's big for me. So that's one of the uh, games I always remember. And it's probably the biggest game that you know, I've won, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, you have a player to beat you know, to or for yeah. and win another bowl game. Yes, yeah, so I think the Rose Bowl. Yeah. I could see that. I mean, I, I remember a lot of those. I remember the excitement with you and all yeah, that. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. First start, like that's yeah. as well. It was, it was pretty cool. cool stuff. It was big moments. It, it was fourth downs. Fourth down, first touchdown, fourth, yes. fourth to one. Exactly. We called goal. Ball. We threw it to you. We didn't care. We're like, no, we're going tomorrow. <laughs> and then again, the goal line. I mean, there was there were some opportunities there for game changing plays for yeah. sure. Yeah, that's good. I would say, for me as a player, yeah, there's actually two, and they both play into Team of North. I remember as a young player, uh, one versus two, you know, game of the century, and I remember, you know, how we were down and we were we had to drive to go score, yeah. and I vividly remember being in that environment and just that stadium and and all that was just it's all part of that. I would say, coupled with my last year in 08. Um, I caught two ch- touchdowns against those guys. We did a good job in the game, and we got a chance to sub Todd Beckman back in, mm-hmm. who was a senior at the time, led us to a, a national championship run the year before. And so he got to close out the game, and uh, he threw me his last touchdown pass uh, on a slant for, uh, uh, for a touchdown late in the game. And uh, the relationship I had with Todd, uh, that just went a long way with me and us yeah. for a long time. And I would say lastly, as a coach, being in the green room, with Chris and Garrett awesome, yeah. on, on draft night yeah. was pretty cool. I mean, to see the families, the hugs that we got, like just to be on a journey, Marv, and then to kind of see it completed, or at least the first part of the journey checked until the next journey starts. That was really, really, really special. And your guys' success is really what motivates me. Without that success, <laughs> like, <laughs> Take my start running dry, so yeah. we gotta keep the, we gotta keep this up. So, uh, you guys, you guys reaching your guys' personal success is pretty impactful for me. Awesome. I think for me as a player, yeah. one moment that I've yet to get to that I really want to is Big Ten Championship. Yeah. I'm playing indie. I think this will be a special special moment, special game for me yeah. to go back there and you know, obviously watch my dad play so many times in that stadium. Yeah. And to go there and play in indie. So that's one of the goals. That's probably the biggest goal I have this year. 
Let's make sure that happens. Yeah, it has to happen. All right, good. Awesome. <laughs> So last year was a great year for the whole receiver room. Yeah. Um, had a lot of crazy catches. Um, which of my catches would be your personal favorite? I think there's a picture from one of the catches. Yeah, and I, I sent it to you. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I got a picture of it. Uh, that was Michigan State. Yep. Uh, that one was pretty awesome. And, and it was awesome, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But there was something too, gosh, was it Iowa maybe? For a touchdown, mm -hmm. a far corner. Yeah. And it might have been an Ohio route. I know it's only talking. Yeah. About. It's four, and, like four for one. Yeah, it was fourth and one. To me, I love like, yeah, you got in, but it was like, you had a front foot down, back foot down. You got two feet down. <laughs> that's college, that's NFL, that yeah. transitions. You know, like you had a crazy one on the sideline and you got like one foot in. I'm like, well, that doesn't count at this level. That's worth nothing <laughs> right. in my mind. Like, oh, okay, good catch. The pro in you. Yeah, I know. I just, I just, I, just, I, well, I want it that's to be fair. at all levels. It's good. Yeah. You know, not no excuses. But uh, yes, the Michigan State one, was uh, pretty incredible. You put something on the route, which, mm -hmm. you know, it's another conversation. But I think the fourth and one one, when you knew you lined up, you knew where the ball was going, and you were the only option. Yeah, it was the only option. You were yeah. the only option. Like, there's some, there's some pressure to that to make a play, both feet down on the sideline. I think I'm going to go for the touchdown on the Ohio route uh, in the end zone. That's my favorite one. That's, I think that's an underrated one. People don't realize the intricacy yeah, exactly, and what yeah. it took to get that done at that level. I like that one. I think my favorite one would be the Merlin one, I think first third game, we threw the goal ball. Oh yeah? We got the one-handed pass interference. Yes, yeah, so you're holding them off, yeah. you're kind of getting grabbed. I think that'd be, that'd be one of See, that's an underrated one. one, favorite one. Why was it your favorite one? I think that was the hardest degree of difficulty yeah. for me. Yeah, I like that one. I think you did a good job on like, leaning on him and holding him and everything else, but he just got your left arm. Oh, oh, and you're able to catch that early, yeah, early in the game, that was big. He knows on the sideline too, but you know what, that's, a, that's an unappreciated one, that's a good call. So you, you know you've been here as a player for four years and obviously you enter your coaching career so um, to you what does it mean to be an Ohio State football player coach and be a part of the program? Yeah I would say that I would say that I take myself all the way back so when I was a player you love the locker room you love yeah. your teammates you're like you're in it but you really don't understand until you step back from it and that's probably a lot of things with life you know I would say being a Buckeye has grown as I've grown. I think that, you know, as a player, you know, we put the sweat in, we put the work in, like there's a lot of ownership that we have in the locker room. You know, now you transition uh, to a coach from being a player, you know, I like to, I'm never gonna lose that. I understand what you guys go through. Now being removed and being in the outside world a little bit more, I mean, the university means more to me than ever, and it's grown. I mean, it's, cha it's changed my life. My best friends are Buckeyes, you know, it's just such a, life-changing experience and the people involved is what makes it so great. So uh, for me, as I've grown, that's grown. Yeah, I think I did. How about you? Um, like you said, the people, the people here. Yeah. Um, you come here, I think I met you know, probably my closest friends here since I've been here. Yep. Just hanging, uh, spending so much time with them, you know, on and off the field, whether we're catching jugs or, you know, we're you know, going to dinner, yep. riding scooters on High Street, just little things like that. So just meeting the people here is definitely probably one of the um, you know, biggest things for me. That is what it means to be a Buckeye. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome being able to spend some time with you. Uh, you know, as a group, we're so continuing to set our mark, you know, at Ohio State in this room. And uh, you're helping do that, helping lead in that. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a great year. I uh, can't wait to see what we can accomplish as a group. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as much as, you know, you're doing those plays on the field, we need your leadership off the field, too. I know yeah. you know that. But it's going to be a special year. I'm excited. Can't wait. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Appreciate talking to you, Chris. Yeah. Always a good time. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Let it rip. That's what I got you.